Hey guys, I'm your host Prashant Singh again and after a long gap of course but this is my idea to run successful YouTube channel and of course I'm very successful. Okay anyway leave that topic now I will be very consistent now. Today I'll review this Cadence Boom Stand which I bought from Amazon in 800 rupees and I'm showing you this picture because I kind of screwed up the unboxing but there was nothing much to show of course there was a stand and two holders or mounts whatever you can say so you'll see that so let's pass the review and since i'm running so successful youtube channel i know you won't want to help me but still if you want to help me links are in the description if you want to buy you can buy from description and help me a little bit so this is how it came in the box and this is my pc setup of course by the way this table is three feet high so you can easily assume what is the height of this stand right now okay so let's assemble it so first we'll loosen up this screw to free up the legs which is very convenient. Of course you need free legs to stand up that's pretty understandable. Now slide the main rod upward and tighten this screw again. Next up of course flex the legs. You can slide the main rod down for more stability if you want. So now it's standing at its original size. Let's go ahead and extend it. Loosen up from here and extend the height. Now tighten it back of course. So now it's standing at its full vertical height. Now let's see the boom arm. To extend the boom arm you have to loosen up from here. Now you can easily extend the arm and also adjust the size of it. Then you can tighten it up, of course you should, but let me make it shorter so it will be fit in camera frame. Of course I have to record it. Now you can see kind of skeleton of this stand is ready from top to bottom. If you want to take the arm down a bit or maybe a lot, you can do this. Although it's not very supple and smooth but you get what you paid for. Now let's move to the included accessories and of course these are microphone holders. This one goes to top here. And other one will go to the arm. And both are very simple screwing mechanism so it is very easy. Okay so this is done but problem is that holders are facing in wrong direction. So let's fix it. For the boom arm you can simply do this and then you can move entire arm to align with top mic holder in a way you want. Now stand is at its full height with the arms and holders. Okay let me introduce you to microphone holders and this is a clip style one for holding literally anything. Whatever it can support of course. And other one is for proper mic but I think this is for slim karaoke style mics because my condenser mic does not fit in it. But if you have bought any condenser mic of course you will get a shock mount with it even if it's cheap quality one like mine but they include one. You can slide your mic in there and put it on the place of stock holders. Now it's mounted and you can revolve it to your likings. Good, now you get a stage style microphone setup. But if you want to do a studio style setup for recording, you'll need this mount pretty much every time like me. Again, same simple unscrewing and screwing and we are done. Well, no, we are still not done. If you want to keep this arm at full length, you have to point one leg towards the direction of an arm. Let's see, it's stable now. But I moved the arm and now it's falling down. Because there's nothing to support the extra weight arm is putting on the side. Now again I aligned them and they are good. Another thing you have to keep this screw very tight in case you want to keep this arm at full length. Even a little bit of well looseness will take it down very slowly. Now time for cable management, well those are connectors, this is cable. First thing, of course you have to put the XLR cable in the mic. And it would have been easier if I was provided with a better quality cable. Here's a clip so you can stick the cable close to the arm. You can take the clip out with some power of course. Then put the cable on the arm and clip it back. Now what I do is wrap the cable around the arm, tighten it and we are done. Although there is absolutely nothing to hold the cable on this base arm, 
but you can just do this and wrap it on too. So as you can see now it's pretty much done. So what is my take on this arm? Why don't I take a boom arm and just hold it on the table with its holder? Done! Well, with on table holder style boom arm, you can't take it anywhere. It's stuck on your table. You can mount it somewhere else, but you have to find something to mount it on. And at the same price, you get a stand which you can carry anywhere. You can make it short, make it long again. It's very simple mechanism. So if I want to record video here, I can record here. And if I want to move to the green screen which is besides me, so I can move this stand to green screen and record there and just flex this boom arm above my head. You know, keep the mic just above my head so I can record the voice with my condenser mic which is a lot better than a lapel mic. You know it. So this was the review, if you can say it a review of this Cadence Boom Stand. If you like this video, please like this video. If you dislike it, you can dislike it. And if you want more videos like this, if you want to watch more videos like this, you can check out my channel and don't forget to subscribe it. Button is below the video. Go and subscribe it. Another important thing, if you want to buy this stand, you can buy from the link in description and you will support me, you will help me and you will kind of force me to show up more frequently. You know, nobody wants to work for nothing. So click here, you can subscribe this channel, you can subscribe my Hindi channel here, click. And if you didn't watch this video, you can of course click here and watch it. And again, thanks for watching. I really hope we'll meet in next video. Till then, best of luck. Thanks for watching.